Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Zillow Rental Manager, a free and easy to use tool that lets you create and manage your rental listings, screen tenants, collect rent and more. Zillow Rental Manager is one of the most popular platforms for landlords. With over 34 million monthly visitors and over 110 million homes in its database, it also offers features such as online applications, digital leases, rent estimates, and tenant verification. Whether you are a new or experienced landlord, Zillow Rental Manager can help you save time and money and find the best tenants for your properties. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps of how to list a property, how to create a lease and how to invite tenants to apply. By the end of this video, you'll be able to use Zillow Rental Manager like a pro and take your rental business to the next level. So let's get started. So to get started, go to Zillow.com and we're going to go to manage rentals up here. We're going to click on that. And you can see here it says you can list your properties for free. So again, click on that. And you're going to have to, if you don't already have an account, you're going to have to create a new account with your email and password, or you can connect with Apple, Facebook, or Google. So go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, you're going to have to answer a few questions. And then once you've done that, click next, and you're going to be able to add your first property. So first you need to enter the street address, select the property type from house, condo, townhouse, or entire apartment community and then enter the unit number if necessary. And then you can also select that this is a room for rent with a shared living space. Once you're done, go down and click next. And then it's gonna ask you to double check the information and then click confirm. So it says you have added your property and now you can list your property for rent by clicking create listing. And here it's gonna take you through all of the specifics of the listing, like the square footage, the bedrooms, and then you've got things like the listing details, the lease details, amenities, everything else. So you can go through that and fill that in. And then obviously down here, you're going to be clicking next. But for now, I'm just going to save and exit. And we're going to come back to your properties management, which is up here. And here it's going to show you all of your properties. So if you had multiple properties, they would all be listed in here. And you've got a search function up here if you need to search. And you can see it shows all. You've got your ones that are for rent and ones that are off market. If we click on this one that's off market, we can see all of the details in here. So you've got your overview. Click on here to go to listing. It's not listed at the moment, so you can't see anything. And then if you've had any applications, they will be in here. And if you want to send application links to anyone, you've got one right here. That's going to send them straight to the listing. You can also print a property sheet, which you can share with potential renters as you're showing them around your property. And then they'll be able to apply for the property with a QR code on that sheet. The next tab you've got is leases. So in here, you can actually create your own lease and customize it. You've got the Zillow lease builder here, and then you can share it and you can also store your signed leases as well. So if we click on Zillow lease builder and then continue, that's going to bring us to the lease builder. And it's just a really simple form that you fill in with all of the details. So the landlord details, and then you've got the tenant details as well. So you can add multiple tenants and then it asks you to describe the home. There's lots of different things to answer in there. You've also got terms and payments up here. So you can add whether it's a fixed term, month to month term, the amount that the rent is, when it's due, all of that kind of things. And then over to rights and obligations, you can add things like renters insurance is required, whether you've agreed to do any work on the property before they move in and lots of other things. And then finally, additional details. You can add things like smoking and pets. So that's a really helpful tool in there to be able to build your own leases and customize them. Going back to the property page, we can click on payments and here you can start collecting your rent. So if we click on that, you're going to select how much your monthly rent is. You're going to select what date you want to collect the rent. When the first full rent is due, when the period ends. And then you can collect a security deposit if you want. And if there's any other moving costs that you want to take. You're going to enter the details of who's going to be sending you money and then select whether you are a business or an individual. And then you're going to fill out all of your information. And then finally, the last page on the properties page is the maintenance page. And that's where you can keep track of emergency repairs and create tasks, record costs. So you can create a new task like repair water heater. 
select a category. And then if there's any notes you want to add in, you can do that. If you want to add more properties, you can do that up here with by clicking add property. And it's just the same as before, as we did at the beginning, really easy to do. In the top left hand corner, you've got messages. And here is where you're going to have any inquiries from applicants or any messages from your tenants. They're just stored all in one place, which is really handy. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this useful and learn how to use Zillow Rental Manager to make managing your rental properties much easier. Thanks for watching.